show applicants say they would be prepared to lose a finger for a shot at fame. True or false? False. OK, I can tell you that the answer is in fact true. Oh, shit. All right, calm well down. Well done. <laughs> not a lot of people, though, is it? No, well, I mean, it's quite mental, isn't it? 16% would go, yeah, I'll have a finger off just to sing for Simon Cow. Of course, once they've done it, they'll have to tell him to fuck off like this. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, George and Lee, let's have a look at a clip to illustrate your statistic. Ring My Bell is a show in which you, the viewer, get to do the talking. Qualified receptionists are right here to take your call and put you through to either Arthur Scargill, Boy George, Barbara Windsor, or Tony James, the founder of Zig Zig Sputnik. Let's go for a quick booth hop just to show you how this extravaganza works. Half a buttock and one right boob. Hey, did you, did, 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 did you show that right boob? I didn't see yes, that one. Yes, just, just you got to, you got to look very quickly. You oh, bleed, God, you miss it. Yeah, was, was, was that in the one with, with the um, toothpaste? What? No, that was camping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. Anyway, you take care. Oh, you bet I will. Oh, I love. Do. God bless you. Love darling. to see your tits. Bye, love. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> love to see your tits. Bye. <laughs> Here is your related statistic 38% of call centre staff claim that their job has helped them find romance. Is that true or false? Bollocks. <laughs> well, they can't find my details. They give me customer reference. I give me my day to my post my blood group. They can't find fuck off. Oh, the people that do the cold calling, you know, that ring you, I think that helps their love life, because I always say, go and get fucked. <laughs> but some people do sound more sexy on the phone. They often people phone me up and they say, can we interest you in double glazing? Like, no, but you could certainly take me out to dinner. <laughs> Have you ever had phone sex? Fantastic. Yeah. I like the fact you know when the call's over. <laughs> and your mum walks in the room. Yeah. <laughs> she can't walk in the room, she's on the phone. <laughs> you know, in America, all the sex lines start with 900. And uh, the, the area code for Western Tennessee is 901. So you must get a lot of people in Western Tennessee just getting a misdial call. What am I wearing? Overalls. <laughs> My daddy's right here. Earl, it's for you. <laughs> All right. 38% of call centre staff claim that their job has helped them find romance. Is that true or false? No, I think yes. We think yes. We, we think, think it's probably yeah. true. Right. Okay. I can tell you that the answer is true. <laughs> yes. Yes. 38% of call centre staff claim that their job has helped them find romance. Call centres are weird things. Yeah, I need to go from Coventry to Ipswich on Saturday. I better call someone in Bangladesh. They'll know. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of that round, it's three points for Sean's team and five points for Dave's team. And the winner is, is the name of our final round. I'm going to be giving the teams a series of opinion polls and surveys. It's up to them to buzz in and tell me who or what they think came top. Here is your first one. Top thing that annoys women. Is it when you get really drunk and piss in the wardrobe in the middle of the night? <laughs> when you wipe your knob on the curtains. <laughs> what do you want annoys you? To be honest, I'm not a good person to ask, because everything... <laughs> 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 what annoys my wife and women, I think, in general, is... They, they say, what pair of shoes out of the 27 pairs you've got goes with this skirt? As if you're a fucking expert on shoes. <laughs> yeah, the problem is, though, your white shoes all stink of piss. <laughs> <laughs> Annoys women. So it's when you put a new toilet roll on the toilet roll holder and you make the paper come off near the wall oh. instead of like away from yeah. the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. It's really apparent. What do you do that for? He's got, he's got brushed knuckles on the wall now. Yeah. You were very close, Sean. Take the last piece and you don't think, ah, oh, shit, no. You stick that last piece back on, don't you? That one, <laughs> put that one back on, then it doesn't look as though I've used the whole loo roller. That's great. She's got to change it. That's the correct answer. Yes, the top thing that annoys women is finishing the last loo roll. Here's one for you. Top reason to celebrate. You found some booze. <laughs> hey! Didn't know I had this. <laughs> Rich, what do you celebrate? Not being Canadian. <laughs> oh, I know! Jesus Christ, don't do that! <laughs> Well, it's quite a life, it? It's a funeral. <laughs> it's a <joke>. Jesus. <laughs> no, I tell you Unbelievable. Why. Do you go to funerals of people you don't like? <laughs> I've been to one. <laughs> I've never been invited back. <laughs> well, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, I've been to one funeral. I didn't get invited back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that same job again next year, then. <laughs> An engagement. That's a correct answer. Yes, the top reason to celebrate is an engagement. Second on the list is discovering that the kid's not yours and you don't have to marry the slag. <laughs> I... Well, that sound tells me it's the end of the round and the end of the show, which means the final scores are Sean, Nikki, and Rich have five points, but the winners are Dave, George and Lee with six points. <laughs> Thanks to all our panellists, our wonderful studio audience, and to all of you for watching at home. That's it from us. Good night. Amnesty International's legendary Secret Policeman's Ball comes to Channel 4 later this month. To download extra archive clips and brand new sketch shows, go to channel4radio.com now. And coming up, Avid Narion meets Justin Timberlake, Bo in the USA, is next. <laughs>